Remember how I told you how great quiet time was going? Today is the beginning of our family staying at home for several weeks. This is going to be such an interesting time, a historic time. I'm sure we will all remember this experience and we're all experiencing it in such different ways. Our kids are obviously home. We're going to be doing school at home and we're going to be not going anywhere. All the extracurriculars, the play dates with friends, everything's canceled at this point. So we're gonna try to make the most of this time together. I, for one, I'm kind of a homebody. I really, really love to have that time together as a family, and so we're just gonna try to make the most of it. We actually sat down as a family and explained why we're doing this right now and the purpose behind it so the kids could kind of understand it a little bit better. We tried to reassure them all, and then we brainstormed. We made a family bucket list of a bunch of different ideas of things that we can do during this time to keep our attitudes positive and to help the time pass and to just make precious memories. So today we're starting off with some art. So we've studied a lot of different kinds of art as a family, but today we're gonna to study one that I actually really enjoy. It's called still lifes. Have you guys heard of still lifes? Yeah. No. So guys, there's lots of different kinds of art. Portraits are drawings of people. Landscapes are drawings of land. And still lifes are drawings of objects. I feel like it looks boring on the outside, but when you actually sit down to do it, it's really challenging and that makes it really fun. Still life. A still life is a group of objects. So Kendra had set up a still life for the kids to draw, but Janae got to it and wanted to eat one of the pieces. So we're talking about what we would want in our still life. And I think there's one object I want to add. A roll of toilet paper. Because that would make it significant where we would always remember why that mattered right now. It's just a thought. So this one's interesting because it's a painting of a still life. And Can you believe this is a painting, not just a picture? So this is Paul Cezanne. And he's a very famous still life artist. I like how he did the fruit with lots of different colors. What? Which one do you like? Oh, this one. Good choice. That one's great. Stop watching. We're just binging these guys' videos of drawing stuff. Who is this? Who's the artist? Marcelo Barenghi? Unbelievable. I don't know. So, this is the still life that I set up this morning. But I think we're going to let the kids just choose one item to draw. I think one of the cool things about this type of drawing is how much observing it takes. So Janae chose a banana for her still life, but I think she mostly just wants to eat it. Janae, you're drawing so nicely. Pants. You drew pants? Awesome. This is hard. It's harder than you thought it was gonna be. Especially watching the video of the perfect person. Yes, so. and then trying to do it yourself yeah. is actually super hard, huh? Yeah. Jeremy chose a toilet paper roll as his subject matter. I love the stillness of this still life art moment. It's so quiet. Ta -da. It's a basket of oranges. The shading gets so challenging and complex. Mom, so that is at, beautiful. Mom, look at this big mountain. I tried my best. It's your first time doing this, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Good job. I love that you tried the shadowing. The shadowing is super hard, I feel like. Isn't it fun to like do art? The hardest part for me is how white I need some of the whites and how dark I need some of the darks. Caleb chose to draw a pencil. I love what you're creating there. Caleb, that is so impressive. Look at that detail. I love how you shadowed these. I 
love the contrast of this being so dark, this being lighter, and then the shadowing. That's really good, buddy. Thanks. Have you been shading with your fingers? Yeah. And <laughs> now they're getting all black. I never knew toilet paper was such a good thing to draw. I think, I think anything is cool when you really stop to observe it and look at, mm -hmm. look at how the light hits it. What's really cool about drawing a still life or just simple objects is these are objects that we look at and use all the time but we don't even think about. And so to stop and look at really the shapes that make up the objects is really fun. Well, I'm really impressed with the kids because honestly, drawing objects is really discouraging because you can see it right in front of you, exactly what it looks like, and you put it on paper and it doesn't look the way that you want it to. And so I'm really proud of them. I think all of us got discouraged at moments, but we kept trying. And that's what's really fun about art is it's not going to be perfect. It's not about being perfect. It's about learning and experiencing and observing the world and seeing it in a different way. Our trash got picked up today, and I'm so grateful for the people that are working to help maintain those parts of society that are so important, like trash pickup. Janae's juggling two babies today. Where are you taking them? To the park. Oh, have fun at the park with your babies. Here. You're here? This is the park? What are your babies' names? Una and Oka. Wait, this one's Oka? Yeah, Ina. Ina? Our next over there, so y'all just need to walk in on over there, okay? Yeah. All right, Lana, it's time to get our dancing on. All right, y'all, today we're gonna be doing some line dancing. You know what line dancing is? It's doing the same dance. We're all gonna do the same dance at the same time in a line. You got it. Y'all are quick. You can just step like this, one, two, three, four, or you can grapevine it. You guys know what that is? One, two, three, Four. Then we go backwards. One, two, three, four. Janae had to get her dancing shoes on. You ready to go? What our kids are doing is they're doing a bunch of stuff online. They're doing math on Khan Academy. They're doing Spanish with Duolingo. We have a typing program that they're using. And we have a current events app that we use. It's called Newsomatic that we enjoy that as well. So this is a set of straws and they have connectors. And you can build whatever you desire. I found, I found some more yellow. Super. We're building a little house. That'll be cool. For my camera I'm gonna make. Now we just need one the other way. Making a house. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah! yeah! We did it! We did it! Yes! The showdown. Yeah. These two take their chests pretty seriously. We're done! Yay! Are you being a doggy? Yeah. Yeah. Is this the dog house? Being together all day long and being in the same space is hard. We can easily get on each other's nerves. And so what we decided to do is we are doing a quiet time for one hour in the middle of the day. Everybody's in their own space and they're playing by themselves quietly. What we did is we just assigned the different spaces in our home out. Laura's assigned to the front room today. She's reading books and playing with Legos. I can read this. You are doing so great at reading. Caleb's reading Mistakes That Worked and he grabbed the handy dandy cups. You guys have seen him play with that before. He loves those. So I'm sure we'll see him create something with that. Isaac has an atlas, some dice. Who knows what's going on, but he's having fun in here. Are you doing quiet time? Yeah. Elise made a painting of the coronavirus. So Elise just shut her wet notebook and I was like, wait, Lisey, it's gonna get over there. And what did you say? It's coronavirus, it spreads. That's the idea. So Elise has her paints. She also has a book she's reading over there and an audio book on my phone. How do you like the patio? I kind of like it. I also get the trampoline. Yes. So we don't use these plastic cups for drinking. We just have a set that is a toy that the kids just play with and they get used a lot at our house. It's surprising how much creative things you can do with a whole bunch of plastic cups. I think we have video footage of Caleb as a three-year-old playing with cups. It's been one of his favorite toys. 
So at first I figured that I would use the kids quiet time as a chance to get a bunch of stuff done, you know, hop on the computer, respond to all the people, check out everything, scroll through Facebook and Instagram. What I found is that does not leave me feeling recharged. It really doesn't. And I never get as much done as I think I'm gonna get done. And so I decided that I'm gonna do a non-electronic quiet time, just like the kids are. So no electronics for me. This is my chance to read, to breathe, to sleep if I want to. I can take a nap, I can draw, I like to watercolor, just anything that's gonna help me be in a more rejuvenated space so I can show up the way I want to as a mom for the rest of the day instead of feeling like I'm gonna pull my hair out. I couldn't even reach the top. It was so tall, oh my goodness. Aww. Not quite enough force, but it was a really great idea. You might need something just with a little bit more momentum. Remember how I told you how great quiet time was going? Yeah, today struggled a little bit. Uh, it's a hard new practice to learn, but we did it, and I do think we all still feel better at the end of it, and we'll keep working on it. And now it's time for snack time and a really cool science activity. Hey everyone, welcome to the Cincinnati Zoo. My name is Jenna. I am a keeper in the Africa department, and we are here at Hippo Cove with Bibi and Fiona. We are taking wonderful care of the hippos and all the animals here at the Cincinnati Zoo. Bibi here is weighing in at 3,500 pounds. And Fiona over here is weighing at just over 1,300 pounds. So while so many people are home right now, we've seen that there are several organizations doing online programs that are really cool. Uh, the Cincinnati Zoo is doing these live streams every day where they go and visit a particular animal and they then do a quiz afterwards after teaching a bunch of stuff about the animal. We just think that's a really neat way that they're connecting with people even while everyone is home. The girls are making some funfetti cake. And I'm them. You're a super good helper. Good job, high five. Oh, you did it! Yeah. Into the pool. Yeah. No shell. No shell. Okay. And the uh, perfect person. Just a lot of practice. That's what I meant. Like the person with a lot of practice. Grabbing the cake. Wash, 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 wash. Okay, 20 seconds of washing. One, two, three. Good job. You know, you're awesome at this. Okay, we need to be very careful at stirring. Yeah, very careful so it doesn't spill out. And then this. Two, three, four, five, six. At least scoop up from the bottom, there's a lot. Are you waiting for your turn again? Yeah. It'll come. So Elise can make a cake mix on her own, but she is so sweet to include her sisters with her. It brings back so many memories of me doing that with Elise when she was that age, and then Laura when she was that age, but now Elise can do it. Basically, she's doing my job. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Now it's Nanny's turn. Good job. She's actually starting pretty good for a three-year-old. That serves a lot. Yep. You are actually in great luck, because you know what we need to make right now? A gluten-free cake. We're making two cakes tonight. Today? Yeah, should we help Caleb make his gluten-free one? Yeah, can I help him pour the thing out? He might let you help him. You helping? Good job stirring. This is so good and heavy. Is it heavy? Yeah. What kind of cake do you think this is gonna be, Janae? Um, maybe food kind. Maybe a food kind? Yeah. Oh, that's a good kind. What flavor do you think it might be? Um, maybe chicken nuggets. Maybe chicken nuggets? Maybe french fries. What does it look like, Janae? What does it smell like? Maybe chocolate. Yeah, maybe chocolate. Who knows? <laughs> the kids are watching a movie, and don't worry, we are eating something besides cake tonight. Jeremy actually made tacos. We're looking legit. Tacos. Yum. These grapes are the best. They're so crisp. And they're sweet. They're not sour at all. Oh. Well, now the kids are going for them. I feel like with berries and grapes and watermelon, like sometimes they're not as great and sometimes they're amazing. These grapes, they just bring me so much joy. It's all about the texture and sweetness and it's hitting it on both. And the entire meal, actually. Jeremy nailed the tacos. Well, this toy has gotten a lot of traction today. All the things that have been built. What are you girls playing? We're playing fish. Wait, you're playing fish? Yeah, in the house. 
You're playing fish in a house. I see the fish. Because we're people because we buy that fish. You're people and you bought the fish and you yeah. live in a house? Yeah. So you're playing fish, that makes sense. I get it. I made a hoop skirt. I love it. A hoop skirt, that is so creative. And, but, if I had a longer dress, it would have worked. Would your blue dress work? You know, you're like so. super long blue dress, or your one that you wore on Halloween? So we're playing fish and That might work. The problem is I have to go like this for it to stay. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I'm making a bowl. Nice. So you can tell. I can totally tell. That's a really cool bowl. This toy is called Straws and Connectors. Got it on Amazon. Here's Caleb's cake. It's chocolate on the bottom, gluten free, and then funfetti frosting on the top. How'd it turn out? Um, bad. I'm going to to myself too. I'm grateful that we could not be alone in this part of time. Like, I'm glad we're all together. You're glad that we're quarantined together? As a family. I'm glad that we have enough food to go through the quarantine. I'm grateful that we have fun stuff to do in our house. So Kendra just said she's grateful that our family, our extended family are all safe. And my mom, Granny Jo, and Poppy Keith did make it back and they're self quarantined for the next couple weeks to just make sure that they don't have it and they're not spreading anything. Where is this one at? This is in Spain, I think. In Spain, it's a balcony performance. It's amazing how we're stuck at home and you can feel kind of alone, but it's actually so much of the world is going through the same stuff right now. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, tambourine out the window. Oh, they're all getting out their instruments. Is it him that sings an accordion up there? So this is a fitness instructor from a rooftop in Spain doing fitness classes for everybody. <laughs> How cool. From their balconies. That's awesome. Good night. Ken and I actually had a cruise scheduled in just a week or two for our family. It was going to be our big surprise vacation for our kids. We declared a public health emergency and issued the highest level of travel warning. <laughs> 